Several political figures, including Sport, Art and Culture Minister Zizi Godwa and Gauteng Premier Banyazali Sufi, are expected to visit the home of late veteran photojournalist Dr. Peter Magobane. Magobane passed away earlier this week. Let's get more on this with SABC News reporter Ntlantla Khatlane. Ntlantla, a very good afternoon to you. A giant has fallen. Tell us what's happening outside that home. Well, a very good day to you, Nzinga, and our viewers at home. Indeed, coming to you right here from Omonde, south of Johannesburg. Yes, indeed, at the home of uh, the late uh, struggle stalwart, uh, freedom fighter Peter Magubane, a man who is renowned, who is praised for the role that he played during the apartheid, not only fighting apartheid physically, but using the camera lens to fight apartheid and also to tell, you know, the world about the brutal apartheid system. Zinga, when you remember when we were here yesterday, uh, we managed to talk to, you know, uh, one of the people that was very close to him, the publisher, who told us that, you know, um, he was a, a quite a unique man, a very professional person when it comes to uh, the lens. And you know that uh, there's been a debate around, you know, um, his name in terms of uh, the role that he played with those who really know him, saying that this man never tired. You know, stories that were told was that he was also uh, arrested. He spent uh, about 562 days uh, in prison, also being harassed by the police, but never tired from telling the South African story during the apartheid time with me. I'm with a, a grandchild, Ulungile uh, Magubanu, just going to talk to us with regards to, you know, um, her grandfather. Thank you so much for your time, Ulungile. Ulungile, um, talk to us about memories you have of your grandfather. Well, there are a lot, to be fair. Um, I think my first memory of him is discovering, was discovering when, well, me discovering that he was a photographer. I didn't know for a long time. To me, he was just my grandpa. Um, and we had a book show in Tal at school. And I found some of his books. The book that struck me was the June 16 books. So I'm looking and I'm saying to myself, like, I've seen these photos before. Um, and I saw his name there. So I asked my mom, like, is this, is this Opa? And she said, yes, that's his, his book. He's a photographer. You know? So I was like, very excited to take that book to school and show everybody that, oh, my grandfather takes all these pictures that we've all seen. Um, yeah, I think that was my first, like, real memory of him as a photographer. Um, other than that, I think the thing we enjoyed doing most was like sitting in the sun together. He very much loved to just bake in the sun around 4 p.m. So we'd sit and just talk about things together. Amongst the stories that we heard talking about the sun is that uh, even during his last days, he would sit outside and take pictures of the sun setting, you know, taking pictures of trees and so forth. Um, you, when we spoke earlier, you spoke about he also tried to instill or tried to just persuade you to be a camera. He made you love the camera. Talk to us a bit about that. Um, it wasn't really even an active influence from his side. I just very much liked cameras um, in a physical way. I liked how they looked, how they worked, the idea of photos for me. I love the mirror. So having photos taken was like something I love to do. And it was one of the first things that I picked up artistically. I just think that I didn't have a motivation or a subject, you know, so I would take pictures of buildings and like stationary things because I was also scared to take pictures of people, which is, he was the complete opposite. He would take the photo and then kind of ask for permission afterwards. Um, I didn't stick with the photography, but I still do collect cameras. Uh, one last question for me. We spoke to your mom yesterday, and he, he says he said that. Uh, in short, he said that you know during that time, I know you're not around. Your father would drop him off, and you'll have to catch a taxi. Um, just talk to us in terms of what your mother has told you about your grandfather. It's interesting, you know. My mom didn't get to spend a lot of time with her father because obviously the movement. Um, took priority for him and the work that he was doing to try and free South Africans. But uh, I think for her, her main memory was, you know, the times that they would get together and be able to speak at home. Like she would always go on about what he would cook. That was her favorite memory of him. Thank you so much. Zinga, that was Ulungile, the granddaughter, sharing with us you know, the memories that he had 
uh, about the grandfather. You know, in Zinga, since I arrival here, people have started, you know, coming in to pay their condolences. A few minutes ago, we saw uh, the Premier of Kauten, you know, arriving here at the home of uh, the legendary Peter uh, Maguba. And with that being said, Nzinga is back to you in studio. Thank you so much for that update. I'm sure we'll continue getting them throughout the course of the day.